What up? We're gonna get some sustenance. I might get a Red Bull. I haven't had a Red Bull in like six months. No, maybe like three months, maybe like two weeks, but I, it's been a while, so I'm gonna get a Red Bull probably at uh, the Hunter's favorite pit stop, morning pit stop, Maverick. So I'm gonna get something to eat, something to drink, and then we're gonna um, cruise on over to the boat launch. Um, it's already been an eventful morning. I got pulled over. I guess I have a headlight out. Couldn't find my insurance card. A speeding. This list goes on and on. And then uh, I said, I'm going turkey on. And he was like, or he said, have you been drinking? I said, no, I'm going turkey hunting. So I made it. Uh, Clancy made ran, it. ran over a cat. Yep. So Black cat did not cross our path. Yeah. It, I mean, it looked like cat could have been from a demon from hell. So we're going to get the boat launched and um, get cruising. Oh my goodness, what is going on? Unreal. Oh, my back hurts. Dude. I smoked that bird. Um, there was like six birds. Oh, really? Yeah. Did I mess that up? No, no. We got one. <laughs> um, holy cow. I don't know what I don't think I got it on video. Um, but, but uh, we got in here, parked the boat, walked right under these birds, set up in this clear cut, um, and uh, yeah, he came, wrecked the decoy. Clancy smoked him. Ish, twice, and then I put him down. <laughs> was a rodeo. I don't know what happened there. I uh, <laughs> this is the hill of no of all regret. <laughs> <laughs> this hill has bad, bad things going on in it. They always come from behind us, dude. They've never come from in front of us. I could hear him spitting and drumming. That was the first time I've ever shot that shotgun. Which is not an excuse, but I don't know what was going on there. I mean, at least they were only 15 yards. Yeah. We'll review the footage. Yeah, we'll see what. I don't really know happens. if I. I might have been shooting right over the top of his I, head. I apologize because I don't know if I could get it focused through the. There's nothing really crazy special other than the fact of like I scouted. The birds were roosting here last year because we hunted here last year. You can check out the video from last year. Um, we hiked way in. This this year we walked 100 yards maybe, right? Yeah, 125, 150. And, uh, 
we sat down and a, a bird gobbled in front of us one time. That was it. That was weird. Like right in front of us, one of these trees right here. These birds fired off all morning, um, which is why I'm a big advocate get in as early as possible. Clancy's shaking like a leaf still. Um, but uh, we could hear them drone behind us, and I just did a few soft yelps, just like a couple little yelps, because they couldn't see our decoy until they rounded the corner. And then as soon as they saw a decoy, the hen split, and the two toms just came right in. So um, he's a sweet bird. Got a nice fan and a decent beard. So we're gonna get a tag on him and then um, maybe drop him back at the boat. Yeah, let's take him to the boat. And then we're gonna go for a walk, see if we can strike another one up. Oops. You forgot them. So this morning, we walked right up this hill from the boat that's right there. And this is the tree they're roosting in. Yeah, so we walked right under their roost. That's amazing. That uh, they did not seem to remember after about an hour and a half. And it's not quiet either in here. There's lots of down. Oh yeah. All right, we are on the move. There was birds gobbling to our right, to our left and in front of us this morning. So we're gonna work through these logging roads and see if we can strike another one up. So, and they've clearly been on, so have the elk have been on this road. So. He's a couple hundred yards away, but this logging road should go, should meet right up with him, but he fired off as soon as I yelped, so we're going to see if we can make a move on him.
base of the neck. Got him. Got him. Got him, dude. <laughs> oh, redemption. 26 Ooh, yards. Out here. <sighs> 25 yards. We had a little mishap this morning. Clancy shot his gun a couple times, missed the bird. I shot it. You saw that. If you didn't see it, rewind the video. But yeah, now I got redemption. Dude. And uh, figured out how to shoot the shotgun. It's not, uh, I'm used to shooting a different, more waterfall style gun. This is an old 870, so. And he smoked him. So. But we called him down off the hill. Yeah, no, it was uh, pretty sweet. He started out, we seen him at around 52 <laughs> yards when we first saw him. Came down the hill to about 26 yards. And him with that. What cut is that? This is a new one. A new one? Coming out soon. Um, but we located him with a pot call, they gobbled and gobbled, gobbled. He came down this road, peek up, they're right here, no decoys. Got behind the stump and called him in, as they say, called on the road. Blind. That was sick. It was really cool. He's got Mega Miriam Spur and then Mini Miriam Spur. <laughs> oh, good beard. Yeah, it's thick. Yeah. This is such a white bird. Whew. Pulls fan out. By golly, that's a sweet fan. Can you do it? It's my second one ever, so. That's sick. It's crazy. We got spur that's probably an inch and a quarter. And then I don't know if he broke it off or he rubbed it off, but. Itty bitty spur committee. <laughs> <laughs> We're in some steep country. And, uh,. I think we're gonna go, to, we'll take some pictures of both birds. Then we're gonna go catch some fish. What's the plan? Out by 7.45. So, the light bulb for turkey hunting yesterday, I think, switched. Like, yeah. Friday got nice, Saturday, birds were fired up this morning. These birds were still gobbling. They quieted down a little bit, but they just, a couple on the hill gobbled right before you shot. Yeah. So, whew. Well, we're gonna walk out. I hope you enjoyed vi today's video. Um, two birds down, public land, and we didn't have to walk as far as we did last no, year. No. So, but they were real active. This one was by far my favorite way to kill a turkey. No decoy, fun. call it in. Just he came looking. And he kept putting good. his head up to look over the logs. These clear cuts are awesome to use no decoys in because they have to come searching because they can't see because birds might be behind stumps or logs and so it's yeah, perfect. Like, how many birds do you think was on the hill before I shot? Maybe five? Yeah. What we watch leave out of here? 15? Yeah. Well, I saw the two coming off the hill coming down, but he was, uh, this guy was just interested. He was ready for some morning delight. So, like I said, thanks for watching guys. Have a great day and enjoy turkey season.